Hello everybody, in today's video I would like to share a story about something that is very near and dear to my heart and a passion project that I have done for my community. So every year during Christmas I send out well over a hundred Christmas cards um, to my pen pals, to my family members, to everyone basically. And every year since 2015 I have sent them from Christmas Florida. And you can see the cancellation right here. Christmas, Florida is a tiny little town just outside of Orlando. And these two envelopes were sent from there in 1962 and 1963. Now the reason these are special is because 1962 was the first year that the United States made a Christmas postage stamp and 1963 was the second year. So these envelopes are very special because they have the first Christmas postage stamps the United States produced. They were sent from Christmas. But they also have these really lovely stamped images over here on the left. And now these are custom made stamps that the post office has. And if you go there today, you will find probably five or six stamps there. They're all in really bad shape. The images are very hard to see. And one that looks very similar to this, which I assume is this stamp, is there. But it is in such bad shape that you truly cannot see with the images anymore. So after doing this for four years in a row and watching the stamps that they had there grow further and further into uh, a terrible state, I took it upon myself to make a change. So I reached out to a company that I know makes custom stamps. This company is called To Impress. And I talked to Bo, the owner, about making custom made stamps and I told him why it was important to me. And it is because every year I go to Christmas, I hand stamp my envelopes, I have them hand canceled, and then I send to everyone that is important to my life a Christmas card sent from Christmas. I take my kids, my kids have started to do the stamping, and it's just become a family project and it has become so important to all of us to see the stamps grow into such bad shape. It was just heartbreaking for all of us. So I reached out, spoke to Bo, and he made five new custom made stamps. He knew I was going to donate these stamps to Christmas, and so he gave me a phenomenal price. He did not charge me for the custom artwork time. He did not charge me for shipping. In fact, he really only charged me for the cost of the materials, which was about $80. So for $80, I'm going to be able to donate these stamps to the Christmas post office for thousands of other families to use for many, many years. These are high-quality stamps. And I know that they are not going to um, break down as quickly as the other ones there. Now, it's important that this year I'm donating these stamps because a lot of families won't be together for Christmas this year. They're going to be spending Christmas apart because of COVID-19, which is the smart and safe way to do it. In an effort to bring families together, it was important to me to make these stamps for people to feel special and thought about while getting a Christmas card from Christmas. So if you are in Christmas, I would encourage you to uh, go there and use the new stamps, support the post office by buying Christmas stamps and make something special for your family and loved ones and use the new Christmas stamps available at the Christmas post office. Now I've said that this is a very important project to me. This is a passion project for not only my family, it was mostly a selfish decision to want to be able to use these stamps, but it is, was a decision that I made to encourage everyone to send more mail, to send Christmas cards, and to just be awesome, <laughs> and just to enjoy the season, and I really hope that thousands of people will be able to enjoy this. So that's all I have to share. I hope that you have enjoyed this and haven't minded hearing my kids scream in the background. That's all I have to say. I just want to present these beautiful stamps and uh, wish everyone a good holiday season. And I hope that you enjoy the process of uh, starting something that will very clearly last for generations with me because this is from 1962 and 63 and here I have it in my hands and it's still making an impact with me. So I hope that you will do the same for your family members. That's going to be it for me today. Thank you so much for hanging out and I'll catch you guys later. Thanks. Bye.